that zero is simple AC circuit. All right, let's uh, let's start by defining that. What's a circuit definition? Circuit definition. A circuit is the path. Circuit definition. A circuit is the path provided for the flow of electrical current. A circuit is the path provided for the flow of electrical circuit. Full stop. AC. AC means alternating current. AC means alternating current. It's the type of current that flows in one direction. It is a type of current that flows in one direction and then in the reverse direction. It is a type of current that flows in one direction and then in the reverse direction to stop think of it an AC circuit differs from a DC circuit so listen listen there are two types of circuit basically you have your AC circuit and what in there your DC circuit AC means what there? Alternating current circuit. This means what there? Direct current what? Circuit. Right. Take down. One major difference. One major difference between the AC circuit and the DC circuit is the possession of a split ring. One major difference between the AC circuit and DC circuit is the possession of the split ring. Please take note of this stuff. Please. It's a usual fast question. Like you're going to repeat it almost every time. One major difference between the AC circuit and the DC circuit is what? The possession of what? A split ring. That's note number one. Note number two. A slip ring, note number two, a slip ring helps to convert an AC dynamo. A slip ring helps to convert an AC dynamo. AC dynamo to a DC dynamo. So when it comes to if I have an alternating current circuit, how do I take a direct current circuit? How do you convert an AC to a DC? The instrument that helps to convert an AC to a DC basically called what here? Sleep ring. These two comes out in jam almost like every time. Alright, you say which of the following? Which of the following differentiate between an AC and a DC? Which of them? Is this split or sleep? Which differentiate between an AC and a DC? Is the split ring? Which of them helps to convert an AC dynamo to DC dynamo? Sleep ring. Don't forget. It's a usual pass question. I always say, if possible, use the idea. When something is splitting, what does it mean? It's scattering, it's shattering. So hence, Split ring has water, shatter and edge to water, the DC. It's a concept you might want to use. It's splitting it, it's cutting it from an edge to water, the DC. That's why you ask for them. My idea. Take that, please. Take that. An AC circuit has, an AC circuit has three major components. An AC circuit has three major components. Have uh, resistors, 
Mas Didi Doko Kita lupa begini ya Kita pasti to Has resisto Has di doko It has di kapasito Take that bit Peak value of an AC Peak value of an AC Peak, okay Put it this way Peak And RMS Value Of An AC Peak and RMS value Of an AC Given the given the peak current, given the peak current, given the peak current in brackets I not, given the peak current in brackets I not, and RMS current does RMS. Given the peak current I not and RMS value that's I RMS. They are written by I RMS is equal to I not over there. Please don't say something. What's the difference between RMS value and peak value? The idea is that the RMS value is called over there, the peak value is over there, root 2. Similarly, similarly, the RMS voltage. Similarly, the RMS voltage is related to the peak voltage by V RMS is equal to V naught over what? Two. So RMS is equal to peak over root 2. Given the RMS voltage, that's this. And peak voltage, that's this. They are given by V RMS is equal to V naught over root 2. Similar. Similar, I'm saying the same thing now. Same, this is for current. For voltage, in a similar manner, the RMS voltage is equal to what there? Peak voltage over root 2. I'm saying. Now, there's something you should note when it comes to this. Listen, we've dealt with listen, we've dealt with this before in the previous topic. That was like one of my very first initial class. Oh, dealt with three components on AC circuit: your inductors, your resistors, and what you get there, your capacitor. Now we did the arrangement. Looked at inductors in series in parallel. We did resistors in series in parallel. We did capacitors over there, series and parallel. Look at energy stored in the capacitor. That is just one concept. That's one concept. Now, there's a second concept to this. What's the second concept? We looked at, we look at an AC circuit that contains only a resistor. We we'll get some catalyst from it. Look at an AC circuit having just an inductor. We we'll get some um, concept from it. Look at an AC circuit having just a capacitor. Don't look at all of them combined. All right, take down this. Take down. AC circuit containing resistor only. AC circuit containing resistor only.
this. It's called V comma F. This is R, or this is called, this is R, correct, going this way. This second containing resistor only. For an AC circuit containing resistor only, for an AC circuit containing resistor only, for an AC circuit containing resistor only, comma, from Ohm's law containing resistor only, comma, from Ohm's law, the voltage V is equal to what? R R. V is equal to I R. Considering RMS value and peak value, V is equal to I R. Considering RMS value and peak value, we have that V R M S is equal to the same R, the cost of delta I R M S R. That's it. So see V equal to I R. But this is now in RMS uh, what do you call it? Uh, concept. For the peak concept, I have that V naught peak voltage V naught is equal to what there? Peak current times what? Resistance. That's what it So usually it's V equal to I R. Now put the concept of RMS. It means that V RMS is equal to I RMS times R. Use peak value. It means that V naught is equal to what there? I naught times R. Just the same concept. Same concept. Alright, that's one. That's one. So we did that. And this is second containing resistors only. For this man, know these two things. Let's see another concept. Let's look at capacitor. So let's look at AC circuit. AC circuit containing capacitor only. Now, hang on. Do you remember the circuit symbol for capacitor? Huh? For resistor, yes, no. Circuit symbol. That's a resistor. For inductor, what circuit symbol for inductor? Huh? What circuit symbol for inductor? This is an inductor. For capacitor, what does it look like? This is capacitor. This is resistor, inductor, capacitor. All right, so look at this. If I'm doing this circuit containing capacitor only, what does that say? Change it to what? Capacitor circuit table. So because this, this, uh, this, this. How do you put this here? This I. This B F. This is capacitor C. Don't forget this. Difference between capacitance and battery. What's the difference? For battery, I have something on this of this nature in which one is longer than one like this. It's a battery or a cell. For capacitor, what is it now? You have the same height. You have the same height. You're seeing VF, VF, VF. What's VF? You're seeing VF there. For an AC circuit containing capacitor only, for an AC circuit containing capacitor only, from here, for an AC circuit containing capacitor only, the voltage is given by V 
is equal to I x c. Containing capacitor only. The voltage is equal to um, V times I x c. Let's write it all. I'll show you some similarities and some differences. I x c. We have x c is called the reactants. X c is called the reactants of the capacitor circuit. We are XC is called the reactants of the capacitor circuit. X is called the reactant of the capacitor circuit. And XC is equal to 1 all over 2 pi MC. XC is equal to 1 over 2 pi MC. So here's the concept is it means that a volt is equal to what there? Amperes times what there? Ohms. So hence, when it comes to this, when it comes to this, the same concept, this is called the voltage in volts. This is I, current in amperes. This is XC. Now, if you observe now, it's no longer what there? R, but what there? XC. It's no longer what? Resistance, but what there? Reactant. Now, reactant. Now, whether it's a resistance or a, re a reactor, what you call that is also measured in water in volts. The same concept. Just that since it's no longer what a resistor, it's no longer what there, uh, yeah, resistance, we talk about now, reactants, still the same as I in volts. And for this case, reactance is given by 1 all over 2 pi times L times C. Alright, stick that one. Take that one. Example. Example. Take that one. A two microfarad. A this way. Two micro. Farad A two microfarad capacitor A two microfarad capacitor is connected directly across is connected directly across a one fifty VRMS. A 150 VRMS, comma 60 Hertz. 150 VRMS, comma 60 Hertz. HC AC source. 60 Hertz AC source. Full stop. Find A, AC source, full stop. Find A, the RMS value of the current. The RMS value of the current. B, the peak value of the current. B, the peak value of the current. B, the peak value of the current. All right. Solution. Now listen, 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 listen. If you're giving a question on AC, right? One way you identify is that you see something pertaining AC in the question. Now, when you've gotten that, next up, if I look at it, it says a two microfarad capacitor so it becomes an AC have you there a capacitor as just did there next up let's start to give you parameters what are what am I giving so now what you're giving the same a two microfarad microfarad represents what huh? 
which which unit has farad as its um, unit? Which parameter has its um, farad? Which capacity, which uh, parameter has farad? Huh? Capacitor. So I'm giving my word. Capacitor C has been equal to two micro farad. That's the first step. Next up, we said across a what? One fifty volt array. So I'm giving what there? Look at me. What I'm giving there is it the V or V array? I'm giving V R M X as what there? One fifty volts. That's it. Okay. Next up, we said what there? Sixty hertz. What does it represent? Hertz. Frequency. I'm giving frequency as equal to 60 hertz. Okay. What next? Just find out what that. Find the RMS value of what? Current. And the peak value of current. Alright, so look up. Look up. Find two things there. The RMS value of current and the peak value of current. Look at it. This is a circuit containing what there and AC. For circuit containing AC, what do I know? I know that if I apply Ohm's law, listen, if I apply Ohm's law to a circuit having resistor, it's got a V equal to I R. This is for the resistor. When it comes to AC circuit having capacitor, what do you have now? V is equal to what there? I what there? X. I think it's not how it's called there. X. The max will find what there? The RMS value of what? The current. From what we did initially, I said, from this case now, how do you get RMS value of current? What do you mean here? It means that V R M X becomes what there? I what? R M X and what there? X. In the same way, V not is equal to what there? I not what? X. So in this work like the general form of equation, these two are subject of anything. I can express these two in terms of what RMS. I can express these two in terms of what P. That's the concept. So if I want to find the RMS value of current, that's this. I need to find this. How do I find it? From here, I know that I am MX is now equal to, I will divide both sides by X. So it means that I arm and comes from there, V and on the word there, X. For there, I have this value there as 150 volts, but I don't have XC. Can I get XC? Yes. So it's one. Let's get the reactants. We said X is called reactants. Let's get the reactants of the circuit. That's XC. What's X? What's the number there? 1 over what? 2 pi X. That's your, uh, that's your formula. But this is the thing is, I'm seeing C as micro. What's a micro? Micro is what? 10 per what there? Minus 6 what? Alright, that's micro. Well, minus 6, that's a micro. Alright. In this value, that what you have there, it means that Fc is equal to 1 all over 2 pi into f. f is 60, so 60 into c, 2 times 10 power minus 6. Please punch this, what have you got? 1 over 6, punch this. 1326.1 What's your unit for this? What's your unit for this? This oh right. So if this is true now we have to find A. A we have to find I RMS, the RMS value of current. So recall that, recall that V 
I N X is equal to I R M X times what then? R L X is. So this is capacitor becomes times X C. So get this value. If I divide this by X, I have that I R M X is equal to V R M X. All the word there. X. So it's now equal to what's the RMS? 150 becomes 150 all over X C. 1326.29. Please give me value. I'm just waiting for me to clear. So if you have not completed your feet, I'm just for me to clear your facts. Then just of you, if you don't call your calculator, you don't enter my class. I'll be very stupid to you. Right? They're giving you chances. You're taking chances. I'm giving you a chance. You're taking chances. Why come to class without calculator? You get what there? Zero point one one three three four watts. One one three zero nine. That's one now. So I look here. What's the unit, please? What's the unit? <laughs> so this after. Uh, B part, so you should get the P correct. Now listen. B part, you should get the P correct. When it comes to RMS and P, what's the relationship? What's the relationship? That what there? I RMS is equal to what there? I is equal to what there? So, so recall that. Recall that. I R M X is equal to what there? Eh? I over what there? Eh? Root 2. This is over 1. This times 1 is itself. P current is equal to this times this. Root 2 times I R M X becomes equal to root 2 times I R M X is 0 0.1131. Please multiply this. What do you get? 0 0.1599 What's the unit? Huh? What's the unit? What's this? What's this? Huh? So what is in what? 